Hi, it's Professor Ford here with Team MJV. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Sensor 12 vacuum cleaner. Let's start out by talking about some of the features. To begin with, it has a 35 foot power cord. On the inside, you have the tube filter. This is your vacuum bag. And then the exhaust filter is located down here at the bottom. Exhaust filter here. Now, one of the things you need to know, and that is, never allow your bag to get beyond this point right here. See the perforated lines right here, dotted lines? Never allow your bag to get any fuller than that. Because the more full the bag, the less suction you're going to have on it. When you change the bag, grab right here. It's got two arrows. See the arrows there? And when you take the bag out and you get ready to put a new one in, always take a microfiber towel. And to the best of your ability, try to clean this out. Try to get as much dust particles out of here as you possibly can. A clean vacuum cleaner is going to work much better than one that's dirty. After you get that clean, take your bag with the arrows, insert it, and push it all the way back until it snaps. Just like that. Now, when do you change the tube filter? Do you see the gray lettering on here? So when the white begins to turn the same color as the gray lettering, that's when you want to change the tube filter. To do that, simply grab it at the base, pull it out, and replace it with a new filter. Pull the bar up, slide it in, and make sure you push it all the way back. Then, take your two pins, insert them at the bottom here, and then fully close your lever. To replace the exhaust filter, lay your vacuum all the way down by pushing on the lever back here in the back. Lay it all the way down, and then grab right here at the top, push in on it, and this simply pulls right out. Take your exhaust filter, pop it out, throw it away, Wipe this out with your microfiber cloth. Again, a clean vacuum cleaner is going to work much better than a dirty one. And put your exhaust filter back in position. There's two little holes here at the bottom. Line that up. Snap it in position. The bottom goes in first. And then snap it close just like so. Now, should you get a clog in the vacuum, you can release this hose right here by pinching on both sides, pinch here, and pull up. This comes right out. Then you can take your wand, pull it all the way out. So let's say that you've got a clog in your wand. So you can simply take your wand, insert it here, Turn your vacuum cleaner on at the switch here, and usually that will take the clog right out. If that doesn't work, then you can take a broom handle and push a broom handle through this until you force the clog out. Remember, your vacuum cleaner is used to collect dust and dirt. It's not designed to pick up paper clips, straws, napkins, toothpicks, and larger debris. Snap that in position, and it goes right back in. Now on the back side, you've got an onboard crevice tool, and you've got an onboard upholstery tool. On a new vacuum cleaner, the lever right here We'll have two plastic pins attached to it. Two plastic pins like this, attached to the back side of the lever, and that will keep the lever from going all the way down. Always take these plastic pins, take your thumb and just snap them off. Throw those away, and you can push this lever all the way down. What that will do for you, that will lock this handle in position. Without that, this lever doesn't go all the way down, and so your handle is loose 
and may come out. So pull those pins out, snap them off, and push this all the way down like so. On the bottom side of your vacuum cleaner, this is an absolutely critical point. This yellow flapper right here is the clean out. This flapper over time will get to have a buildup of dust, dirt, and debris in here. And as it does, it will begin to gap open. And as it gaps open, the dirt goes in here and will come right back out here. So it's very, very important to make sure that you always keep this cleaned out with a microfiber towel and that that closes completely close. Your brush should always be sticking out past these guide bars. So if you notice these guide bars right here, let's get a close up of that. Make sure your brush is sticking out past the guide bars. If they become flush with the guide bars, then the brush is no longer making contact with the carpet. So it's time to change the brushes. To change the brush, simply stand it upright, push in right here where it says brush roller, it's got a little picture, and it pops right out. You just kind of wiggle that out. It's best if you can turn it on its side and this brush will pull right out. Then take a microfiber towel and clean out the inside once again as best you can because a clean vacuum cleaner works much better than a dirty vacuum cleaner. Take the new brush and there's only one way you can put this in. You cannot put it in backwards. So put your brush in Seat it all the way down, rotate it as you're turning, push it all the way in, and put your cover back on, the gray at the top. On the side here, you've got a dial, one through four. As the brush wears down, you need to adjust the dial. So a new vacuum cleaner should always start out on four. As the brush wears, go down to three. As it wears more, go down to two. As it wears even more, go down to one. But again, when the brush is flush with the guide bars, that's when you replace the brush. So that's the sensor 12. Now let me show you another vacuum cleaner that wasn't maintained very well. Some of the problems that we have here. If you notice the flapper on this one here is broken. So what's going to happen is the dirt's going in here and comes right back out of here. So basically you're just rotating the dirt. And if you can see the brush on this right here, got hair and debris in there, not too bad, but it could be better. But the brush is sticking out past the guide bar, that's, that's good. So a well-maintained vacuum cleaner that's clean, with clean filters, a good working brush, flapper in good repair, will work much better for you. Professor Ford here, saying, is it clean?